Um, Lindsay, thanks for joining us. A thrilling game there. Uh, obviously, commiserations on the defeat. How are you feeling after that one? Clearly disappointed. Um, but yeah, I'm, sometimes I'm really disappointed because we haven't just shown what we're about, but I thought we did today. So I'm really proud of that. Really, really pleased with the effort. Really, really pleased with everything. Just, just the... You know, the little things, the silly penalties, the silly offloads towards the end there. Um, yeah, just composure lacked a little bit, but in terms of effort areas, and they just couldn't have done any more. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with them, but, but just disappointed with the result. It's a fantastic advert for Women's Rugby League, wasn't it? It was so close towards the end there, especially. Yeah, I hope, I hope it was, you know, good for people watching and to show the skill level and the way that they can play rugby. Um, last week we played Leeds and I don't think either side showed what, what women's rugby is about so today yeah I think it, it was better it wasn't perfect but yeah to have a, a one point a one point semi-finals is good for the sport I think mm. isn't it what were you feeling at half time obviously going in with that uh, slender lead at half time yeah we knew that Saints had come back hard because it's you know it's a semi-final isn't it um we, we tried to tidy up a few of the things like passing at the line you know we'd, we'd spoke at length about completing sets and not passing at the line and yet we were still trying to force it slippy condition so that was just silly really um and then a, a couple of early early penalties in their 20 meters and it bounced them downfield and they got a few points off the back of it and only have ourselves to blame for that really but um no i thought it, it could have gone either way couldn't it yeah it was a thrilling end to the game what, what were you feeling in those last last you know five minutes or so as, <laughs> as uh, you know the game was getting really tight and it looked like it could have been golden point towards the end yeah I mean I was up there and you feel kind of removed from it you at that point there's not really many instructions all the instructions of look let's get let's go for the drop goal set up had gone on and um subs were near enough done so I just thought I'm just going to go down and and um get amongst it and enjoy it um and, and hopefully it comes off and it, and it didn't but yeah, it's just it's just the worst five minutes of your life, to be honest. <laughs> um, but obviously, with this being a double headed, so many supporters in, you know, watching the women's game, particularly, you know, you know, towards the end of that second half, which is only good for the growth of the women's game. It is, yeah, and you know, obviously, a lot of them were Saints fans. But for us, noise in a in a stadium, we don't really know who the noise is for. You know, we're not used to it, so um, it was just it was just great to have that atmosphere and and, um, and experience it. I think the fact that there was starting to get that build-up of Saints fans towards the end in that sort of last sort of 15, 20 minutes. Do you think that maybe gave Saints the boost they needed to, to push on in those, those last, last Yeah, m maybe. Um, I think both teams started to be dead on the feet towards the end, didn't they? And, uh, yeah, they... Uh, yeah, it was, just, it was just tough. It was just tough. And, and for them to have all them fans cheering for them, willing them on... Um, will have obviously made some some even if just a small difference but we had a great following today we could hear our fans and um, thanks to them for making the trip over um, obviously drew last week super league and today what's the message now to to your players to to get them back focus for next week yeah we've got saints then. again on friday um it's just it's just the composure and the game management aspect of being able to deliver what's said in the changing room, what we've done at training, to be able to deliver that on game day. Um, and you can't even blame it on fatigue. You know, even 10 minutes into the game, we're going away from the key point, the key messages that, that we've given them. Um, one being, look at the conditions. We have to complete, last week completion was 53%. Terrible. You know, it needs to, it needs to be in the 80s if we're going to be being with a chance today and um, like I said first few sets were, were forcing the pass and, and turning it over um, luckily we defended so well in that first half that we, that we went in with the lead but you just you just can't can't get away with not completing and, and like I say all them penalties and after a game like this is a short turnaround before you can get to get back out there and try putting it right again is that a, is that a good thing on this occasion yeah it is and like we'll have had three games back to back and pre-seasons long hard cold wet all those things um and this is what you do it for to be able to get through these games to be robust enough to have your you know your top team out there not to break under the pressure to have the you know the legs and the the energy to get to get through these games so three back to back is is just brilliant it's just good great fun